I had this moment when I was on co-op. I was working late in the lab one night processing data. I was right next to all the data acquisition and the treatment equipment, and I just had this thought that, wow, I could do this forever. My research journey started first semester freshman year. I looked through the different research that was being done at Northeastern and came across this Professor Dennis Erdomos in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department, and he heads up the Cognitive Systems Lab. I saw on his website that the Cognitive Systems Lab does take undergrads, but you have to be at least a third year and have two co-ops under your belt. I was a second semester freshman. I sent an email, hi, I don't meet any of these standards, but I'm you know, very eager to learn. I'm a fast study on these things, and I'd really appreciate the opportunity to sit in and see how I could contribute. And then from there, I was kind of stolen by the Movement Neuroscience Lab by a postdoc, Matt Urasi, and he needed more undergraduate engineering students in the Movement Neuroscience Lab. Uh, Gene convinced Dennis to share, and I've been working between the two labs since then. The topics specifically range from prosthetic control to now diagnosing ALS and trying to speed up that process via automation of certain steps. My first project that I sat in on was the hands project, which was working on a more advanced prosthetic hand. The first project that I was published for was looking at how we can predict hand muscle activity from arm muscle activity and coactivation patterns taken from the opposite hand. Because if you can do that, then you have all of the information you need for an amputee to control a hand much more dexterously than you could do just by guessing what these remaining muscles are giving you. So for that project, I got some funding from Northeastern from the Office of Undergraduate Research and Fellowships to stay here over a summer and do research. That turned into my first publication where I actually got to be first author. For my research there, I actually got a Goldwater and now I'm a semi-finalist for a Fulbright. I ended up doing a co-op at Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital in the Inspire Lab, which is a lab that works on spinal cord injury. What we were doing is looking at different treatments to allow nerves to hopefully regrow and to allow people with partial spinal cord injuries to walk again. The project that I was leading is looking at neural networks for markerless motion capture. In a traditional motion capture suit, you have IR markers and the motion capture cameras will project IR light at them and then calculate how they're reflected back but that takes some time for the person to put the markers on and a lot of people with spinal cord injuries just don't have the stamina to stand up for that long and get into that suit, put those markers on. So the idea was to take video from multiple angles and then use neural networks to track features in the images. So a knee, an elbow, a nose, so on and so forth. And then once you know the angle between your cameras, you can calculate the most likely position in space and get motion capture to a pretty accurate degree without actually needing to place physical markers on the individual. Since then, I've actually been working with a physician at Tufts, and we're working on a project looking at transcranial magnetic stimulation to identify patterns in human motor recruitment that could help us diagnose ALS and other neuromuscular degenerative disorders sooner. One thing I noticed from the time that I started at Northeastern is that it's a university that offers a lot of extracurricular and research opportunities that you won't find anywhere else. It's at that sweet spot of still growing but firmly established, so students have opportunities to really position themselves in leadership positions in research. You're not just going to be cleaning beakers your entire time here. You can get published. You can lead research projects. And that's something that I've really been able to take advantage of, and it's something that I've really tried to share with others.